Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about Dell PowerEdge C1100 and specifically we're going to go over the CPUs and memory that go inside. Let's get started. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge C1100. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's get rolling. Uh, first things first, this is a 1U server. It is a four bay large form factor uh, chassis style, which means you can put in 3.5 inch drives. Um, if you want to put in a 2.5 inch drive, you can technically get a converter to, to put that in there. If you want to put in SSDs or something to that effect. Um, as far as the CPUs are concerned, there are two CPUs inside. It uses an LGA 1366 socket, which means it uses Intel Xeon 5500 or 5600 series CPUs. We get asked all the time, hey, what CPUs do you recommend? To me personally, I would like to go with a hex core, or two hex cores in this machine if I were running it. Um, and there's a bunch of different uh, hex cores that you can get at a really uh, reasonable price nowadays. You can get uh, X5650, X5660, X5670, uh, X5690 uh, if you wanted to go that high. Uh, another one that's also really good is an E5645. That'll be a little bit um, lower as far as the overall power consumption, all those are really good options for you that you can check out. Um, if you want something just even you know super cheap, you can get uh, something like um, 5520, and that'll be a quad core, but it'll be, I mean, realistically get two of them in for super, super cheap, but I recommend going with the hex cores. The memory side of things, it takes a DDR3 memory. There are 18 DIMM slots inside. Uh, you can use a number of different speeds. You can go as low as uh, 1066, 1333, or all the way up to 1600. I will note when you do install 1600, it will actually clock down to 1333, which is the true fastest speed for this machine. As far as the different DIMM sizes are concerned, you can do a, a 2 gig, 4 gig, 8 gig, 16 gig, or all the way up to a 32, uh, 32 gig memory module. No, 64 gigs will not work inside. And then that brings us to what types of RAM will this machine accept? Well, really it only accepts one type of RAM and that's ECC registered. No, you cannot put load reduced memory inside. You can only put an ECC registered, which is also known as an RDIM. And with ECC registered, you can max out at 384 gigabytes using 12 32 gigs. Now I understand Dell spec sheet will actually say 288 using 18 16 gigs, but we have played around with it and you can in fact put in 12 32 gigs. And that'll lead us to a question we hear quite often is, well why can you only put in 12 32 gigs and why can't we put in 18 32 gigs? Well that's something known as the rank rule and when we get inside and start showing you the channels I'll explain that a little bit more. Uh, but before we get inside I'm going to grab my ESD gear and be right back. All right, now that we have our ESD gear on, we're safe to open the machine and prevent it from electrostatic discharge. One other thing I'd like to note, I had mentioned that you, uh, this chassis right here is a four bay large form factor. There is also a 10 bay small form factor for the uh, C1100 series. So if that's something that interests you, you can get a, a 10 bay 2.5 inch chassis. One thing I want to note before we open it up is that uh, ours is actually missing the air baffle. Uh, not a huge deal, but I, I wanted to you know note that in advance because yours would probably look a little different at home because yours will have the air baffle, uh, but I didn't want to stop it from letting to show people how to configure and install, uh, but ours will be missing the air baffle. All right, first things first, push this down, pull back, and you're safe to lift it up, pretty much like any uh, server you've been in before. All right, now that we are in, you will notice there are two CPUs as we discussed. Now this machine is a little different, I'm not gonna lie, uh, compared to uh, some of the other Dell machines out there. This is CPU one and this is CPU zero. Uh, normally you'd see CPU one, CPU two. Uh, this is just the way that Dell used to do it. Uh, I'll also say that the labeling on this board isn't the best I've ever seen from Dell. Um, so this video will hopefully be helpful to some of the people out there trying to figure out uh, you know, which slots to put everything in. So uh, let's start with, before we start loading them, let's just start by discussing the fact that uh, this is CPU one. CPU one controls the nine DIMM slots over here. There are three memory channels for the CPU, and each memory channel has three DIMMs per channel. And this is very important because we had uh, talked about a little bit earlier the rank rule. And the rank rule is very important for machines like this that have three DIMMs per memory channel. And the reason being that you, you have what the rank rule is that states that you can only have eight ranks or less per memory channel. And if you look at a 32 gig DDR3 module, it is going to be quad ranked. So what that means is if you try to install three of them in the channels, 
or into one channel, you can do some quick math and you will see that you are at 12 ranks. You can only have eight ranks, so that means it'll throw an error. So you can only put 232 gigs per channel, which is what gets us to the 1232 gigs to max out at 384 gigabytes, uh, and that is specifically the rank rule, okay? And that is the same for uh, any machine, not just this uh, C1100. If you have, really there's a bunch of different, uh, especially Dell and HP, there's a bunch of different machines that have three DIMMs per channel around this same series and all of them are subject to the rank rule it's uh, across every every system really that's invented so um, all right now that being said let's go ahead and start installing some of the modules I will note uh, not everyone out there is trying to max out their system and we get that so we're going to show you if let's just say you only wanted to put in 6 8 gigs or 6 16 gigs or something to this effect where you would install them and the best way to do it okay so before we do I want to show you a couple of tips and tricks that I recommend so first things first I always like to point out when you see your module you're going to notice right here there is a notch uh, known as a key. Now this key is very important because this key is not perfectly centered. It's not dead in the middle here. So what that means is if you have your dim flipped the wrong way you could potentially damage the leads or you could damage the dim slot because there is this little plastic piece in the middle that goes for the key and you could potentially damage uh, the dim slot which would mean you might have to replace the motherboard or you just wouldn't have that dim or potentially even that whole channel so uh, it's really important that you just pay attention to this little thing uh, it's one of the most common user errors we see where someone will be installing and for instance when you go from cpu one over here to cpu zero the the key flips so it would be facing this way for cpu one and you're just in a good groove you're installing your models you go over here to install it whoops you have it flipped the wrong way and you need to flip it like this so i i know i'm stressing the point and it's something very simple but it's a really common user error error uh, that we always like to point out okay the next thing that I like to do and this is just me personally it just helps me out because my goal here is obviously to upgrade the machine but I want to keep the, the server itself safe and keep the parts safe so one of the things I like to do is I like to pop open all my tabs okay and the reason I do this is when I'm installing the memory I don't want anything blocking me or having any potential pushback for me uh, installing the modules so I just pop everything open just make it nice and easy before I get started okay now the next thing I want to uh, note here is we're going to start at the uh, start of the channel which is the blue dim slot so each channel starts with the blue followed by black black okay so right here this first blue slot that I'm going to push the tab in this is A0 okay and then it goes A182 and that's your whole slot so this is A0 this is B0 over here, and this is C0. So those are your first three channels, okay? And then when you come over here, you're gonna have a, a very similar situation where you have a D0, E0, and F0. Again, the three uh, blue slots for the start of the channel. So what's important about this is if you were only installing six DIMMs, the proper way to do it would be to install it into the six uh, blue slots because that's the start of the channel okay so another thing that I like to note and we'll get back to the channels um, is I've installed this module or technically I've installed it I've put the module in I'm not holding it's resting it looks like it's all good it's really not um, this is a common user error where someone thinks that uh, they have a bad dim and really they just have not fully inserted the module so you want to hear these two clicks and you'll also notice that the tab is uh, way further in compared to other tabs right here okay so that's something I always check at the very end just to make sure that we've uh, fully installed the module because again it is a very common user error so if I were installing six modules I'm gonna install them in all the blues as we discussed and let's just say we were actually uh, maxing this out which is what we're about to do here in a second with 32 gigs you would want to put them in the second black slot Okay, so you actually would be leaving this third slot on the channel empty because again they're quad ranked and we talked about that. Okay, um, so we're going to come down here and again it flip flops. So we are going to flip them and install them here. And so again, you know, I'm stressing the point of the channels and people ask, you know, why do we want to install them? like this where we put in six as opposed to let's just say 
the very first six slots. Um, it's really it's a simple reason. You want to have a proper balance across all of your memory channels. This will give you the maximum maximum performance because realistically when you think about it you want to have all six channels working for you and you don't want to have just you know two or three channels that are overloaded and getting no use out of your other channels. So it's basically just to uh, give it a nice even uh, balance across all the channels. Okay. Now since we're going to be maxing it out I'm going to go ahead and show you that oops I forgot it flips back around. See it's real simple to make that error. I always talk about it. So we're going to come back over here, and now we're, we've, we've done A0 and A1. We've done B0, and now we're going to do B1. And then C0 and C1. Now you will notice that B, uh, A, A2, B2, and C2 are all empty. Now if you were putting in all 16 gigs that are dual rank or 8 gigs that are dual rank, you can load it completely up because again those are only dual rank and you don't go over the 8 ranks but you can completely fill those up. But this would be how you would do it if you were only um, or if you were maxing it out with 32 gigs or even there are some 16 gigs that are quad rank and if you were using those because those are popular as well in the sense of they're um, a little bit cheaper so if you were doing those and you know what I actually just did this one backwards so let me show you what I did wrong here I actually needed to put this one over here so this actually goes right here and I got my channels turned around which isn't uncommon all right, so this is actually how you're going to want to install it right here. So this would be the max configuration, 1232 gigs, okay? And now, uh, one of the things I always like to tell people, if you made it this far, first off, I appreciate it. I hope this video was useful. If it was, you know, do us a favor and click that like and smash that subscribe. But if you're looking for any upgrades for your Dell PowerEdge C1100, we would sure love to help you out. Uh, email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. We have a ton of different modules for this machine. Uh, if you need something lower end, like four gigs, eight gigs, or 16 gigs, we can help you out. If you want to max it out with 32 gigs, uh, we can uh, help you out there. And if you have a bunch of machines at your data center and you need big projects, hey, we do big projects as well. So don't forget about us. Sales at cloudindex.com. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.